Hey Kareem, what are you looking at? Hey Angie, I was just looking at this barcode and I'm a little confused because I don't really know how they get all that information on there and how they can read it and know the price and everything. Oh, well that's pretty easy. I mean, I guess somebody would have to code up all the information mm -hmm. and then turn it into binary so that we see it in just two rows of black and white lines. That's cool. What if, what if we could do that for everything else? Oh well, we're gonna have to like code everything and like put it into binary. Well, yeah. no, I don't think we actually have to because everything, everywhere, all the time is giving off different levels of light. How so? So I can actually show you on the electromagnetic spectrum all mm. of the different frequencies of light we can see. So we start at the slower frequencies like radio waves and microwaves, but then we can look at faster frequencies like we see with visible light. So anything in visible light that we can see with our eyes is being reflected off of the object. So like oh. a green leaf would be okay. reflecting green light and absorbing mm. the other wavelengths of visible light. So we could really see anything anywhere in the universe because everything is giving off some kind of light. What about other planets? Oh yeah, of course. We can even yeah. see planets outside of our solar system. We call those exoplanets. Do you want to see some? Yeah, sure. Okay, my favorite planets are the planets orbiting the Trappist-1 M dwarf star. We can actually mm. see seven planets around one star. And quick question, mm -hmm. do they have life on them? Well, we don't know. We're actually looking for that right now. Well, okay, well, how would you figure that out? Because if it was me, I would look for specific gases in the atmosphere that uh, are produced from life, are created from life. And so do specific gases reflect or absorb kinds of light? Yeah, they do, just like everything else. How do we do that? Well, sometimes the planets pass in front of the host star, like TRAPPIST-1, and we can see what happens when the planet passes in front from a light curve like this one. Oh, I see it. Okay, so the blue and green light is being absorbed more while the red light is not being absorbed as much. Yeah, and so we know which gases don't absorb red light, but then we know which gases do absorb green and blue light. Oh, okay. We can actually see that modeled for each planet's atmosphere and its absorption spectrum. Kind of like a barcode. Yeah, so different amounts of light gets absorbed so we can see that there's more gas absorbing that light. So like on a planet like Earth on the top, we would see more methane, more water vapor, more oxygen, but on an exoplanet without life, we wouldn't see as much of that gas and more of the light would pass through the atmosphere. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So every atmosphere of every exoplanet is going to have its own unique barcode. Oh, and we can see that with telescopes based on how much light gets reflected or absorbed when the exoplanet passes in front of its host sun. Exactly! Alright, so when are we going to find life? Well, I don't know. It might take a long time. Maybe you're going to be the one to find it. <laughs>